Welcome back to Junior Newsom Arena. As we're about ready to get started shortly here at tonight's second game, Prestonsburg and Betts Lane boys. And Justin, this has uh, got uh, yeah. some good implications uh, in this game here, uh, how the seeding's going to go as far as the top of the uh, seeding. If Betts Lane wins tonight, then they'll be outright uh, winners uh, as uh, be the number one seed. If they lose, they will drop down to three and three, and Floyd Central will move in as the number one seed in the district tournament. Yeah, with their four and two record. Yeah, they'll be. Uh, if Betsy Lane wins, they'll share the conference. I guess the regular, conference champion, regular season. Yeah, but by virtue of a. 16 point or an 18 point uh, victory over Floyd Central and Floyd Central only with an 11 point win over Betsy Lane they'll get the one seed in the actual tournament and like you said that's uh, that's huge I mean you're going uh, if you win the game you get Prestonsburg again at Lawrence County if you lose the game you're going to get Lawrence County at Lawrence County at Lawrence County and you know again I don't think anybody wants to play the home team in the district championship. I don't care what your records are or what's going on. You don't want uh, the home team to, you know, travel into their arena on the first night of the district tournament. Because well, you're not guaranteed anything. And it doesn't make any difference which way it goes. Uh, Lawrence County is going to be yeah, either the, the two or, or the three. But either if Betsy Lane plays them or Floyd Central plays them, there's going to be a good team not make it to the region tournament out of the PGA division. Yeah, there's three teams, you know, that are uh, regional tournament teams, and you can only send two. So it'll be interesting to see uh, see how all that shakes out. And, you know, you, that's why you play the games. I mean, exactly. you never know. I mean, Prestonsburg could pull the – uh, pull the shocker tonight, go to Lawrence County and pull another one. I mean, it's, you know, uh, the last time the district tournament was at Lawrence County, uh, Lawrence County was the one seed. I don't think they'd lost a game all year, and Floyd Central pulls the upset. Uh, Brady Kahn just, you know, well, put together a masterful tournament, and they win the district tournament Floyd, the four seed. Floyd Central was the four seed, but Brady was hurt. Yes, he was. Most of yes. that year. Yeah. And he came in, I think, the last six or eight games of the season, and that was completing a different team than Brady Con. Yeah, I mean, And he... they pulled off the big upset. Of course, this on at this season, uh, Lawrence County has beat Betts Lane and Floyd Central at yes. Lawrence County. Yeah, so, yeah, that, uh, I mean, it, this is the best time of year. I mean, what more could you ask for uh, to have these teams, uh, everybody playing well and uh, kind of on that upswing? Go over some quick numbers here for the teams. Uh, for uh, Betsy Lane, uh, they come in shooting at 45% from the field and 30% three-point line. A good 72% from the free throw yeah. line. And, you know, anytime you can shoot in the 70s as a yeah, team absolutely. from the free throw line, that's, that's going to win shooting. some games for you. Yes. They're led in scoring by Brady Robinson with 21 points a game. Andrew Kidd at 17.8, say 18 points a game. Then you've got Pente at nine, uh, Byron Tackett at eight points a game, and Carter Parsons at seven. As far as rebounding-wise, that's Andrew Kidd, 7.7, .7, and then Byron Tackett uh, at six rebounds a game. So a good balance uh, rebounding uh, for Betsy Lane. And uh, for Prestonsburg, they're led in scoring by Braxton Keekley, 14 points a game, 10 for Connor Napier, 9, Brian Halbert, Caden Allen, and Caleb Lawson at 8, Mason Stidham with 5, and Grant Vardy. I'm not sure if Grant's playing tonight. I've not, I didn't catch him in the warm-ups there. He's 4.8 points a game. Um, Rebounded-wise, 7 for Connor Napier, Four apiece for Caden Allen, Brian Halbert, and Grant Varney, uh, Braxton Keithley, West Salisbury, and Mason Stidham with three. And we're going to send it back to the station for a short break, and we'll return for. Okay, we're uh, getting ready for the national anthem. We'll just keep it right here. Got one of the students to be a singer. Thank you. 
Great job by the Betsy Lane student on the National Anthem. So we're going to take a break and be back for more pregame and starting lineups of the night's second game. Betsy Lane in Prestonsburg is Red Mountain Sports Network. Gearheart Fiber coming soon to the city of Pikeville. You can work, play, chat, explore at the speed of light. Fiber technology delivers massive data to your home through strands of glass. Perfect for streaming 4K video. Websites load super fast and play games like never before, no matter how many devices are connected. Experience Gearheart Fiber coming soon to the city of Pikeville. Click gearheartfiber.com to find out more. Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. Aftershock Preparedness presents the Gun and Preparedness Sportsman's Expo March 25th and 26th at the Nutt County Sportsplex. If you're interested in guns, bushcraft, hunting, fishing, homesteading, and prepping, then this show is for you. Over 500 tables of vendors, demonstrations, and national speakers. There's something for every member of the family. Vendor spaces are still available. Contact GunPreparednessExpos.com or visit Aftershock Preparedness at the Red Lights in Allen, Kentucky. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals. Soccer games. Graduations. Until she's a grown-up of her own. But what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. God bless me, Daddy. Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro, or 14 Pro Max on an unlimited Appalachian Advantage plan. Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. This changes everything. Gearheart TV is available now. It's the digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by Gearheart Broadband. Sign up now at mygtv.com. Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. You're on the move every day. You're mobile, and so is Community Trust Bank. Now you've got one-touch access to your accounts. No need to remember or update passwords. Make a deposit with a click, not a pen. No deposit slip and no line. And get that morning cup of joe without the hassle, without the wait. Community Trust Bank is dedicated to making your banking experience secure, fast, and easy. Don't wait. Go mobile with Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, Social Security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Back here at Betsy Lane, about a minute to go before the tip of the boys' 58th district matchup. The last time these two teams played, it was uh, all Betsy Lane. That was just a week ago tonight, wasn't it? Yeah. That was last Friday night. Is that a 10 point game? I thought it was. Well, but Betsy Lane had the 17 point lead. You remember Preston yeah, had the yes. yeah. run there at uh, the beginning of the fourth quarter and got it down to seven. Yeah, and then they kind of just kind of kept it at that. Yeah, Betsy Lane got it back yeah. out 15 at one time, and yeah. then, then it kind of uh, uh, hit a couple buckets late, but. Betsy Lane was up uh, in double digits, uh, probably three yeah. quarters of that game, you know, had the big uh, first half. Yeah, they took control of that game. And like you said, I forgot about that, that fourth quarter there, they kind of started off and had a little momentum there. Yes. 
Got some good viewers uh, watching in. Savannah Moore out of Berea, rooting on both teams. Our old buddy Kurt Stamper out of Knott County and Richie Tackett down at Iowa, Kentucky. Yeah, look, I mean, I, I think this, regardless of the outcome, I think both teams like to get up and down the floor. Yes. And I, I think it's, uh, I mean, we know Benjamin well, Lane's going to pick you up full court. We know that. Well, you know, Prestonsburg got some outside shooters. If they get a couple players get hot tonight. Getting ready for the starting lineup, just to bring those two. I don't see, I, I see Barney there, but so he's not dressed. So. Caden Allen. He's a capable three point shooter for sure. Brian Halbert, number four. Thirty-two, Braxton Keithley. Number fourteen, Wes Salisbury. He's been starting for years. Number one, Connor Napier. Go out. Got a good looking crowd in here tonight, which you always do in these Floyd County district matchups. You have these double headers in the district, yeah. you always get the crowd. Number four, Cameron Pinte. Number zero, Carter Parsons, a freshman. So you're starting a freshman and a sophomore. Number 10, Brady Robinson. Number 5, Andrew Kidd. So he basically touched every class. Uh, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. Yes. And now Byron Taggart, I think Byron's a junior. Byron is a junior. So you got a freshman, a sophomore, two juniors, and a senior. And that's their starting lineups for the night second game. Got a good viewer, Robbie Roberts, Sevierville, Tennessee, and old Bob Cat is sailing. Oh, yeah. Looking in, and also our good viewer, Robert Williams, watching on WPRG TV and listening to it on Facebook. I there suppose. you go. <laughs> Get it, got it covered two ways. Got it covered both ways. It's like a 2 3 for Prestonsburg to start. It's Lane working it around. Robson. And as it taken away, Keithley, one on one against Parsons, and he misses it. It's Lane the rebound on the other end. Robinson puts it up and in. Missed the layup yeah. on the other end, just like a turnover. Yeah, I mean, that uh, didn't even draw iron. And here. Robinson takes it away from Prestonsburg, and then I think they called that foul on uh, Salisbury. Salisbury. Yeah. 
So a quick uh, missed layup and turnover for Prestonsburg. Got a viewer out of Bean Station, Tennessee watching, and also viewer rooting on Caleb Lawson there's a miss. Rebound, Byron tacked it, and Betsy Lane breaks out on top 4-0. Yeah, you're kind of hitting all the boxes for Betsy Lane at this point. And here's Salisbury. Keithley, long three, no good. Rebound, Napier puts it up and in. Betsy Lane on the other end quickly, 4-2. They have the lead. Parsons out on top over to Pente. And they're going for the lob wow. for oh. Robinson. And that was good defense that yeah. time by Halbert. He Not finally sure. got around him and got the basketball <laughs> and then got the foul on Napier. I don't even know how that ball got to Robinson. Yeah, I don't there. know, man. Because he, he didn't want the pass, but they threw it anyway. And Robertson makes the first free throw. Gets two free throws out of it and picks up a foul on Napier. So two quick fouls for Prestonsburg. A minute, 35 seconds in, a lot of action already. Yes, absolutely. 6-2, Betsy Lane. Oh, man, that's not where you want to pick it up. There's Allen. He got it stolen. Parsons on the other end. Put that up and in. Can't pick your dribble up right across half court in the... Not on that trail. No. 8-2, Betsy Lane. Albert with it. Kid guarding him. He'll get across the timeline. Now he'll give it up to Salisbury. Salisbury to Allen. And Kid went for the steal. Didn't get it. Napier looking for help. Albert drives. He's down in lane. Pass. Looking up and gets it over to Napier. Pass by Halbert. Double team by Betsy Lane, but no weak side defense. And Napier was wide open. It's 8 4. Here's Tackett down in the middle. There's Kid in the middle. And through contact, puts it up and in. Can't let Kid get it that deep and that easy. He's going to make you pay. Here's. Prestonsburg Halbert now gets over to Salisbury. They get free. Long three in the air. Oh, oh. Wow. Halfway down comes out Caden Allen. Rattles out. Like I said, halfway down. Well, I'd read really right that one down. <laughs> yeah, right? Absolutely. Ten to four. That would have been a big one, too. That's the lane working here's Sack it with it. Gets Pente in the corner. Robinson wide open three. Can't leave him there. And it's 13-4, Betsy Lane. Yeah, that one rims out for you on Prestonsburg down here. And then Brady picks up the three, so. Here's Allen on the drive. Down low, Keithley puts it up and in. Prestonsburg broke press that yeah. time with ease. Good pass by Allen. Your old buddy Steve Roberts watching in. He saw a good one the first game. Here's Tackett yeah. on the drive, cut off over the kid. Yeah, the first one will be hard to live up to. Yeah, it is. And we've got Brady Robinson. Whoa. I don't think he was looking for that one. Gives it over to Pente. Betsy <laughs> Lane just working around the three-point arc right now. Always looking down. Here's Parsons. Drive. Comes free. And comes up short. Rebound comes off. That's Halbert for Prestonsburg, and then Parsons stole it, had it taken away, and then commits the foul as Allen goes up for the shot. Parsons got the got the steal, and then had it taken away from him. Yeah. Three forty-four on a quick moving first quarter, thirteen-six Betsy Lane, but Allen's at the line for two free throws, and the first one's too long. Caleb Lawson and Mason Stidham into the game. For Prestonsburg, nobody on the line down here with Allen. Allen's second free throw is good. 13-7, excuse me, Betsy Lane with the lead. 
Here's Robinson working with it. Pinte with the three. No good. And Tack missed time the jump. Yeah, he was up there, though. <laughs> and Allen comes off the rebound. In the corner, Lawson, three, no good. And battle for the rebound, still battling for it. And Pressenberg comes up with it. Here's Keithley. Oh. And Halbert walks. Yeah. Or excuse me, it's Allen. That's the fourth turnover on Pressenberg early here. Robson will take the ball from Pinte into the front court over to Parsons. Robson three, count it. Wow, that's a tough shot. And he, he just dodged yeah. the player and, and just uh, dropped it in, 16-7. Yeah, that, that's such a tough shot with somebody standing directly beside you like that. Yes. Here's Stenham gets it off to Keithley and, oh, yeah. Parsons with the I block. Thought, I thought he was there. That's two on Parsons. That's Keithley a little bit out of control, but yeah. uh, end up picking the foul up on Bates and Lake. Yeah, that's a quick two on Carter. Bring in number two, Tanner Martin. At Salisbury on the baseline, looking oh, to get it man. in. And both, Napier comes oh. in, and then Kidd reaches in and is going to be called for the foul. He's not arguing, but it looked like a lot of ball. He did. But now he, he must agree with it. He's not too torn up about it. Send Napier to the line. Everybody just left. Napier wide awake. And Napier makes the first free throw. Wide open underneath the goal. 16-8, 250 left. Betty Lane with three team fouls. Prestonsburg with two. And Napier makes them both. Lead to seven. He's got six of the nine. Robinson to Pente. Gets the screen. And beautiful pass over to Tack. I mean, excuse me, to Kid. The no look over the shoulder yeah, pass. That's great. Great pass. Here's Stenham with it. Is it to Salisbury? They break the press down the lane. Lawson Ooh. shot and oh. Robson way high. Smacks that one. <laughs> That's the old, uh, I mean, great block and it's exciting, but he probably could have just caught that in the air. He could have caught that and come down with it. Yeah. Saw Ralph Sampson do yeah. it a whole lot. Yeah. Here's Lawson three. No good. Another and block. Stenham rebound. No good. Lawson comes to rebound. Still battling. And turn around Stenham and Prestonsburg really went to work on the offensive boards that time. Outworked them. Yes, they did. 18 to 11. Two minutes left first quarter yeah. and got Byron Tackett with the illegal screen. He had to go back to Prestonsburg. Fourth team foul. Yeah, Byron just working a little too hard on that screen. You just got to let it. And got Isaiah Allen coming in for Tackett for Betsy Lake. I think we were here for his little breakout game. I think he's yes. got a little bit more trust from uh, Coach Newsom. 18 to 11, Betsy Lane with the lead. Pente knocks the ball loose, picked up by Stenham. And he's double teamed, knocked loose. And Tanner Martin goes in with the layup up and in. 22-11, and here's a oh, ball. Oh, man. Oh. oh, Martin had it just roll right under him. I, I thought that went off his knee. Oh, it could have, yeah. yeah. I didn't think about that, but, yeah, he, I think everybody was Ca just. Cameraman thought it is. <laughs> I think everybody was just waiting on Martin to pick it up. And here's uh, Prestonburg falling down, and Napier comes up with it. Uh, timeout before the shot goes to Prestonsburg, and it is a 30, 32nd timeout. 130 left, 20-11, Betsy Lane. Betsy Lane with 20 points already in the first quarter, a minute and a half to go, so, uh, which they're clicking on offense. Uh, Brady's got eight, Andrew's got six, Carter with two, Byron Tackett with two, and Tanner Martin with two, so... Uh, that kind of clicking every way they can. Four team fouls, Betsy Lane, two, Prestonsburg. 
Yeah, it's a... Uh... Uh, great action, though. Yes, it is. Uh, Betsy Lane, which we knew they'd do that. They turn it up on defense. Uh, they get after people. Here's Christopher. Lawson comes in. Three out of the corner. Shot no good. That's Halbert. Rebound comes off to Betsy Lane. Allen over to Robson. Robson down the lane. Up. Shot no good. Rebound comes off Caden Allen. On the move, into the corner it goes. Stenham, three, too long. Allen battling for the rebound, and we're gonna have a foul on Prestonsburg. I think that's gonna go against Stenham. One oh six left to play, first quarter, Betsy Lane by nine, 20 to 11. Still in that 2 3 zone. Here's Robinson. Works over to Allen. Down low to Kid on the baseline. Back out on top of Robinson. Beautiful pass. Kid uh, misses it. Battling for the rebound inside. Tanner Martin comes up with Gives it to Allen. Up and in. Good pass. Good pass. Isaiah by. Allen. And that was by good hustle from Tanner Martin. Yes. Kept it alive. And makes the assist as well. 22 11, and we've got a jump ball, and it's going to stay with the Black Cats. 29 seconds left, and Betsy Lane, they've had some backdoor uh, yeah, cuts against them, have. but they've got that smothering defense going right when now. When you pick that dribble up, you, you better be prepared because whoever's supposed to be guarding you is going to be all over you, and then they're going to bring some help as well. Caleb Lawson. Gets it in to Salisbury. Here's Stenham. And Allen with the near steal. Down the lane. Up and good. Ball Caleb Lawson. 22-13. 10 seconds left. Betsy Lane can work for the last shot. They'll have the ball to start the second quarter. Robinson. And in and out. And back in. Three. And at the end of one. 25-13. Betsy Lane, this your Intermountain Mountain Sports Network. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals, soccer games, graduations, until she's a grown up of her own. But what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. 25-13. Betsy Lane on top. They scored at the end of the quarter with the three, and then yeah. they'll have it to start the quarter. So if they score here, it'll be uh, double deal. Yeah, that's that old football coming out in you there. You know, that right before the half and... There's Parsons in the corner. Parsons playing with the two foul. Kid gets it back after Robson. Robson's run a lot of the points so far here in the game instead yeah. of pin tape. Here's Tackett with the three. No good. And uh, digs out. Well, almost dug it out. Pressburg comes up with it. On the other side, Lawson. And uh, gives it over to oh, Napier, man. and he yeah. charged. Yeah. Yeah, he went hard at it too there. Yeah, that was that was a no brainer. Yeah, on that one. I mean I don't. You're, you're never gonna get that block being that aggressive. That's the sixth turnover for Prestonsburg. Betsy Lane with only one. That's two fouls on Napier also. Yes. yes. Both teams with four team fouls. Ben Tate 
Robinson fakes the three. He dropped Adam. it down low to Kidd, puts it up and in. Robinson's on one tonight. He's yeah. dishing, hitting. He's doing it all. Well, he's, he's hit those three-pointers, so he, he's got to bring that defense to him. And, yeah. Uh, he's looking to dish the ball as well as shoot. Yeah, it's a uh, double-edged sword. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Pick your poison. You're standing with it. Might have got away with Walt, dropped it off his knee, he runs it down, Good down there in the bucket, wide open. Keith Lee puts it up and in. That's the thing about the uh, team that's got the aggressive defense. If you can uh, draw them out yeah. and get the backdoor cuts, you know, they are some uh, opportunities there. Robinson, long three, no good. And Prestonsburg Lawson comes up with it. Moves against Kidd. Here's Stenham down low. Napier oh. couldn't handle it, and he was open again yeah, under yeah. the bucket. A little too high. And, you know, Betsy Lane with the 12-point lead, you, you kind of – you need all those easy ones. And that was an easy one. Tanner Martin ends of the game for Betsy Lane as Carter Parsons will get a rest. Bobcats working in the front court. Pente looked at the baseline. Nothing there. Gets back out on top. Pressburg in a 2-3 zone. Here's Pente open for the three. No good. Rebound comes off Stenham. Stenham's worked the boards good yeah. since he's been That's in the game. That's what I was about to say. They've done a good job of keeping uh, Betsy Lane off the offensive line. Here's Stenham with the three. And no good. And... Not too many times you can leave him open like that. No, and he's not like he'll that make you pay. Yeah. yeah, he will make you pay. 27-15, Betsy Lane. 5.30 left here in the first half. Robson and loses the ball, but Tackett was there to pick it up. And oh. rolls out on the baseline. Betsy Lane, ice cold here in the second quarter. Albert with the rebound, got it over to Salisbury. Over to Stenham. In the corner, Lawson with the three, comes up short. But uh, Kidd comes up with it. And gives it to Robinson, couldn't get the throw down, but uh, the finger roll. Robinson and Kidd playing, playing a good two-man game right now. Yes, they are. And here's a block down low on Lawson. Betsy Lane comes up with it. Robinson over to Pente. Don't know who got that block. Betsy Lane, there was two players yeah. there. Pente with the three. County. Big. That's his first bucket. So now you've had six players score. 32-15. Betsy Lane's lead to 17. Oh, he's waiting and on And there's Lawson with the charge. Good defense, Tanner Martin. Yeah, he was just waiting on yes. it. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that was that's two. Those two charges have been absolute no-brainers. That was two no-brainers. Yeah. That, that was easy calls yeah. for officials. I think, my, I think my wife could call that one. <laughs> 32 15, 17 point lead. Here's Robinson drives, cut off. Kid. Oh. Air baseline, Pente. Looking for help. Gets it out on top. Tack it. Byron tack it. Three. No good. good and up. Salisbury with the rebound. Strong rebound. Yeah. And here going to the bucket. Put it up. No good. That was Halbert. Betsy Lane the rebound. Robinson in the end. Knocked loose from behind. Off of Bressensburg. It's going to stay with the Bobcats. You know, Halbert's been kind of quiet tonight. He's not got any good looks at all. He had a big game. Uh, yes, he did against, down there. Uh, Betsy Lane there at Bressensburg. Yeah. And got most of his uh, buckets on the drive. Yes. Yeah, he's strong. He can finish. And we've got a substitution for well, Prestonsburg. Yeah, Halbert's averaging nine points a game. Number two, Grant Barney in. Or no, that's not Grant. Oh, it's I not know Grant. Oh, okay. He's in the on the bench there. I'm not sure who that is. Somebody can help us out. Yeah, if you're out there, Prestonsburg fan, give us a, some help. There's Pente, three, no good. Battle with the rebound. Pressburg knocks it out of bounds. It's going to stay with Betsy Lane. 
Yeah, Grant's in the T-shirt on the bench. I, thought, I know I, him. I, I thought that he was that out, but uh, and here's uh, try to get it in Robinson. He was Save. a smart play. Yeah. He knocked it over to Martin. Brady Robinson floater. Knocked it down. I just don't know what you do with him. I mean, he's got 15. 34 15, and Walt caught on Keithley. Yeah. Can't pick that back pivot foot up and go. If he would have stayed flat footed, I think he's okay. Give him nine turnovers now. That's lane by 19. Three minutes, 10 seconds left here, first half. Robinson back to Pente, driving the baseline. Yep. And good defense that time to Salisbury. Of course, Pente to the baseline and turn over to Betsy Lane. Just don't know where he was going anyway. No. No, that's kind of getting frustrated at the zone there. Nowhere to go and just trying to make something happen. Just got to swing it. You got to have a place to go when you put it on yeah. the floor. Yeah. Here is Keithley, our mailing one into the Prestonsburg fan section, another turnover, Black Cats. Back-to-back -back turnovers. That's 10 turnovers for Prestonsburg. <laughs> 250 left first half. Betts and Lane by 19, 34-15. And Robinson probably should have had, shot Had one. a shot. Yeah. He's trying to get it over the kid like we said earlier. You know, he's... Yeah, they've been sharing the ball great. Yes. Yes, he, he's but looking. That's one he shot. probably should have. And here's Tackett, and he's fouled as he just backed Salisbury away from the goal, and he was wide open. Salisbury forced the foul. Yeah. Tackett will be at the line. That's six team fouls for Prestonsburg, the second on Salisbury. Tackett makes the first one, hits a 20 point lead, 35 15. Napier back in as well as Stenham for Prestonsburg. Tack it with one more and makes them both. Betsy Lane four for four from the free throw line. 21 point lead. And Prestonsburg breaks the press. Gets it outside. Three in the air. Good. Caden Allen. The high archer. Yes, he can he can hit that shot. Yes, absolutely. Him and Stenham both. And here, don't know where Tackett was throwing that one. We're right to Prestonsburg. Keithley with the floater up and good. And Prestonsburg on a 5-0 run. Cuts the lead to 16, 36-20. We have a timeout. It's going to be a full. 212 left, first half, this is your Mountain Sports Network. Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro, or 14 Pro Max on an unlimited Appalachian Advantage plan. Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Gearheart Security's Smart Home Holiday Bundles are here. Combine blazing fast broadband and home security to save some cash, plus a free security camera. We also offer home security takeovers, life century, camera-only specials with financing available. Find out more at gearheartsecurity.com slash specials or call us at 1-800-264-1730. Stop by our new location in Harold to enter to win a free Yeti cooler. This changes everything. Gearheart TV is available now. It's the digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by Gearheart Broadband. Sign up now at mygtv.com. Coming out of the timeout, 2.12 to go. Betsy Lane, 36, Prestonsburg, 20. A little 5-0 run by Prestonsburg. Coach uh, Newsom to call the timeout. Black Cats came out in a 2-2-1 full court pressure. Didn't bother Betsy Lane. Robinson works out the pin take. Prestonsburg been in that 2-3 zone uh, yeah. pretty well the whole uh, game so far. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he hit the... Try to get it down in the corner of the kid, knocked out of bounds by Prestonsburg. Talk about whether or not he hit it. I'm pretty sure he hit it. Obviously not a great angle up here, but... 
kind of obvious, though. I, you know, I mean, I, I've got new glasses on. And dangerous pass that time as Kidd controls it. Now gets it over to Robinson. Robinson loses it and fight for it. Battle on the floor, tie up. Here to go to the Black Cats. Betsy Lane, a uh, couple of turnovers here in the last couple of minutes. Yeah, Rob Robinson just went up with that one and it just flew out of his hand. Yeah. That's, uh, we, we've seen the uh, Betsy Lane team several times this year, and, and uh, we've seen them before to get out to a big league, yeah. and then they uh, kindly relax. Yeah. Yeah, they got to put you. You got to stay focused. Yeah, got to put you pedal to the middle. Our Stenham gets it down to Napier, and oh, man. Tackett's going to be called for the foul on reaching it. Five team fouls, Betsy Lane. Got to be two on Tackett. Your old brother Gary Just is watching it. And we've got number 24 for Betsy Lane coming in. Reese. I think that's Reese Music. Reese Music, okay. Earlier in the season, he wore 23. But Here's Keithley on the drive and kicks it into the corner and oh, nearly stolen by Pente, but great anticipation by Cameron yeah. Pente. Yeah. He's one of the best defenders in the region for a reason. He he has made himself into a great oh, defender. Man. Yeah, he's he's that guy you do really don't want him matching you up man to man. There's Allen with it. Keithley on the drive down the lane. Scoop shot up and in. He's got eight. 36-22. Betsy Lane's 21-point lead down to 14. Tanner Martin on the move for up and in. Oh, move. Well, he, no hesitation. No. He, he saw his one-on-one on the back of that press. He knew what he wanted bucket. to do. Yeah, he sure did. Confident move. 38-22. Prestonsburg working. Keithley. Knocked loose. Picked it back up. High arcing shot off the glass and in, Caden Allen. Not sure the bank stays open this late, but worth that time. It does on the hill. There's Martin Robson with the three. No good. Music with it. Over to Kid. Oh, and man. one with 1.9 seconds to go. Brutal, brutal, brutal call. That's three fouls on Napier. And Prestonsburg worked oh, their tails off to get yeah. back to within 13 points and now if kid knocks this down they can go in trailing by 16. and the third foul on uh napier, napier. as well is just brutal kids foul shot good here's a long shot at the buzzer oh no good it would look good but off to the right and at the half 41 25 betsy lane with the United states will be back shortly this is your in about sports network Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. You're on the move every day. You're mobile, and so is Community Trust Bank. Now you've got one-touch access to your accounts. No need to remember or update passwords. Make a deposit with a click, not a pen. No deposit slip and no line. And get that morning cup of joe without the hassle, without the wait. Community Trust Bank is dedicated to making your banking experience secure, fast, and easy. Don't wait. Go mobile with Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. With Gearhart Fiber coming soon to the city of Pikeville, you can work, play, chat, explore at the speed of light. Fiber technology delivers massive data to your home through strands of glass. Perfect for streaming 4K video. Websites load super fast and play games like never before, no matter how many devices are connected. Experience Gearhart Fiber coming soon to the city of Pikeville. Click GearhartFiber.com to find out more. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearhart Communications just makes sense. Visit eCare.Gearhart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments. 
all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals. Soccer games. Graduations. Until she's a grown-up of her own. But what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. Come bless me, Daddy. Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro, or 14 Pro Max on an unlimited Appalachian Advantage plan. Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Gearheart Security Smart Home Holiday Bundles are here. Combine blazing fast broadband and home security to save some cash, plus a free security camera. We also offer home security takeovers, life entry, camera-only specials with financing available. Find out more at gearheartsecurity.com slash specials or call us at 1-800-264-1730. Stop by our new location in Herald to enter to win a free Yeti cooler. This changes everything. Gearheart TV is available now. It's the digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by Gearheart Broadband. Sign up now at mygtv.com. Aftershock Preparedness presents the Gun and Preparedness Sportsman's Expo March 25th and 26th at the Nutt County Sportsplex. If you're interested in guns, bushcraft, hunting, fishing, homesteading, and prepping, then this show is for you. Over 500 tables of vendors, demonstrations, and national speakers. There's something for every member of the family. Vendor spaces are still available. Contact GunPreparednessExpos.com or visit Aftershock Preparedness at the Red Lights in Allen, Kentucky. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. We offer speeds up to one gig, so you can game, stream, surf, and shop on multiple devices without slowing down. Get started now at imctv.com or give us a call at 606-478-9406 for more info. Welcome back to Junior Newsom Marina. We're at the half of the night's second game. Betsy Lane and Preston Spur. Betsy Lane with the 16 point lead here at the half, 41 25. And Justin has some numbers for us. For Prestonsburg, they were led in scoring by Braxton Keithley with eight points, six for Connor Napier, seven for Caden Allen, two for Caleb Lawson, and two for Mason Stidham. They were three for four from the free throw line, had 11 rebounds three offensive rebounds, and 10 turnovers. For Betsy Lane, they were led in scoring by Brady Robinson with 15, Andrew Kidd with 11, four for Byron Tackett, three for Cameron Pente, two for Carter Parsons, two for Isaiah Allen, and four for Tanner Martin. They were five for five from the free throw line, and only eight rebounds for them, two of them offensive. So uh, good first half. I mean, you, you just... Um, the 10 turnovers for Prestonsburg just kind of turned into some really easy baskets for Betsy Lane, and I really think that's the the difference in the game. They jumped out to that really quick start, and just Prestonsburg, I mean, they've tried to get it back around 10, and then Betsy Lane gets a couple shots. So we are two or three of those turnovers, too. Uh, Prestonsburg had me and wide open under the bucket. Yeah, they were high Just yeah. too high, you yeah. know, just couldn't Turn connect off. with them. So, uh very entertaining first half, yeah. and we'll be back on the air Monday night coming to you from Shelby Valley as Paintsville's boys will travel to Shelby Valley. That game will be 7.30, so we'll be on the air somewhere around 7.15. And also Tuesday night, we'll be right back here at Betsy Lane, Belfry and Betsy Lane boys, so... 
give you a little heads up on where we'll be next week. We'll be looking forward for you to tune us in on these same stations. So 41-25 at the half. Betsy Lane Old Pressburg will send it back to the station. And when we return, we'll have second half action. This year in the Mountain Sports Network. Buying a home. It's likely the largest purchase you'll ever make. And choosing a bank is one of your most important decisions. Choose wisely. Choose Community Trust Bank to get you home. With over a century of mortgage experience, we are committed to the highest standards of personalized service. For strengths only a community bank can offer, look to Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. My family means everything, and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure they're safe in our home. I started with this, a whole home security system with 24-7 monitoring. We control our system from anywhere, and wherever I am, I can see my family's okay. You do anything to protect your family. Start with this, a smart home security system from Gearheart Security. Call or visit GearheartSecurity.com to learn more. Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. Reliable internet is crucial for everyone. Gearheart Broadband gets it. If your household qualifies, the new affordable connectivity program can reduce your broadband bill by up to $30 per month. Learn more online today. Back here at Betsy Lane, about a minute and a half to go before the start of the third quarter. Betsy Lane on top 41 to 25, and obviously this is the the pace that Betsy Lane wants. Yes. They want it in the 80s. Yes. And if you're Prestonsburg, obviously you want it in the 50s and 60s. They uh, Prestonsburg is averaging 63 points on the year, so obviously not on pace for that at 25 in the first half. And Betsy Lane's averaging 70. Yeah, so Betsy Lane's right, you know, a little bit above of where they normally are, and Betsy or Prestonsburg below theirs. So that kind of sums up the 16 point difference here at the half. Yeah, we've only got well, Betsy Lane's hit to 80 or more points five times on the season. Yeah, only so got a, it's not uh, unfamiliar territory with them. Only got a week left, Larry. Only a week. That's Only it. a week. Next Friday, I guess people will maybe play on Saturday. I don't know if you, I don't think it'd probably be a great idea to, uh, can't, you know, considering you might be playing on Monday. Right. Don't want to turn an ankle. Hopefully everybody stays healthy here leading into the district tournaments. We did get a number for Prestonsburg for number two, Jackson Estridge. Estridge. Yes. For Prestonsburg, so and looks like Press or uh, Betsy Lane, excuse me, will have the basketball to start this third quarter. Well, they've started off every quarter with the ball, the tip, it the second like quarter, they have it. and now the third quarter. And here's Robinson, right out of the gate, misses it, and Kid puts it back up and in. Napier with the three fouls just couldn't Can't do, do anything. Yeah, just had to stand there with his hands up, hope for the best. Yeah, you. When you're on a two-on-one, uh, Brady Robinson and Andrew Kidd, and you've got three fouls, not a lot you're going to be Yeah, you're do. kind of handcuffed <laughs> yeah. a little bit. And on the other end, shot no good. Salisbury tried for the rebound, couldn't control it. Out of bounds over to Betsy Lane. <laughs> Betsy Lane by 18. They've been up by 21 at one time. Prestonburg made a run, got it back down to 13. Here's Robinson driving the baseline, stops looking for help. Pente down the lane in the corner. Kid steps out for the three, no good. Rebound comes off to 
Prestonsburg. That's Halbert with it. Gets it over to Salisbury. And Napier has it knocked loose by Parsons. Great Robson man. with it. Floater in the lane up. No good. Battle for the rebound. And Napier will come off with it. Rebound by Napier. Albert to Salisbury in the front court. Here's Allen with the three. No. Napier with the strong rebound. Puts it on the floor. Has it knocked loose and the foul's called. Yeah, he, uh, Napier put, bringing that ball down. Might have got away with the extra step. Didn't see who they got that foul on. Who? Uh, oh, uh, Byron. Tackett. Yeah, that's Tackett. his third. Yeah, his third foul. Inside, Napier up, no good, and I think he picked his fourth up. Nope, going to get it on number four, Pinte. Dodged the bullet there. Connor Napier will be at the line shooting two. Made two in the first half. And makes another. <laughs> Three or six thirty-three here in the third quarter, and Napier second one no good, but Got he's going to get one more at a lane violation. Brady Rock, Brady Rocks. Napier uh, gets the chance for a second, and he. Cashes it in. Cashes in on that one. Our old buddy Tommy Kidd. Here's Robson. And got him for the charge. That's, that takes nerve. Not sure if he was. Looked like he might have been leaning. But. Yeah. So Robinson picks up his first. Got a viewer out of Orlando, Florida watching. 43-27, make it 43-29 as Prestonsburg handled the press, end up with a layup by Keithley. That's about the third time he's just been left alone. There's Robson with the three, no good. Keithley with the rebound. On the move, behind his back, down the lane, passes off to Napier, up and in. And we got a timeout. It's going to be a 30-second timeout for Betsy Lane. 5.55 left third quarter. Prestonsburg has the lead down to 12. 43-31. Yep, making a little run here. I mean, two, four, six. Old buddy, yep. old buddy Tommy Kidd watching. He ain't no fires for him going to put out tonight. Don't look like. <laughs> yeah, that... Uh... Prestonsburg's trying to put out the Betsy Lane fire here. They've not come out yeah. very uh, dialed in like well, you would want to be. I'm sure Coach Newsom wants them to do. You saw uh, when we had this game last Friday at Prestonsburg. Same. Same. Saw yeah. the same deal. Uh, Prestonsburg came out, put a big run on, got it in single digits, I think, at one time. And then Betsy Lane kindly righted the ship. Prestonsburg, 2-2-1, two, two, full court pressure out of the timeout. Parsons with it comes to the center of the floor. Back over to Pente into the front court. Attack it. Gives it over to Kidd. Now they'll reset as Robson comes out and gets it. Robson breaks down on the baseline, takes it in the middle, and oh, man. knocked out of his hands, but Not he's sure. able to come up with it and put it in. I don't even know what happened there. I mean, it looked like he got it. Might have got fouled, fouled a time or two. Yeah. <laughs> and then everybody kind of stopped because I think everybody thought he got fouled. There's Salisbury down on the baseline. Shot up no good. Had a foul called, and that's going to go against Robinson, too. That'll be his second. His second in the last probably minute. Looked like a good clean block. Yeah, but it did. Officials didn't think so. No. So Brian Hobart will be at the line shooting, too. And he makes the first. Brian's first point of the night. Tanner Martin in for Byron Tackett. And this is the uh, best scenario for Prestonsburg. Yeah. Shooting 
with the chance to make points with the time, uh, clock stop. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, – Princeton has got the momentum going right here. 45-33 into the front court. It'll come. That's Martin with it. Into Kidd. Spin right. move to the lane, uh, but up and in. That's all it takes and, in the and, lane. And that's what Betsy Lane needs to be looking at right now with Napier in there yes. with the three fouls. Here's Keithley a little floater. No good. Tanner Martin comes off the rebound for Betsy Lane. Yeah, you want to go at Napier because he's not going to – he's yes. trying to avoid that foul. Yes. Yeah, Robinson working, looking inside. Can't get it to Kidd. There's Parsons with it. Tanner Martin, Betsy Lane just working around the three-point arc right now. Not much happening going toward the bucket. Yeah, for Robson there. Uh, off of Prestonsburg. That was a no-look bounce pass behind the back. The kid wasn't ready for it. No, no. There it is, Robson. And Martin puts it up and in. How many has he done tonight like that? Boy, I tell you, Brady Robinson, he, he's got four or five assists. Yeah, a Most of them no look. Yeah. Uh, passes. Beautiful assist. Lead back to 16. That's what it was at the half. Four minutes to go here in the third quarter. And here's a turnover. Prestonsburg. You work hard, get that spurt, and then you turn it over a couple of times to look up, and it's the same deficit it was four, yeah. four minutes uh, earlier. You had that momentum, and then they picked up two quick baskets. Here's Kid with it in the lane, looking for help, gets it out. Parsons, three, off the rim, no good. And Martin battling for it for Betsy. <laughs> and, and then taken away by Pente. Robinson on the drive. Floater, baseline up, good. Snatched all the momentum back that, real that, quick. That was all Tanner Martin and Pente on that Yeah. One, even though Robinson made the shot. Yeah, coming up with the loose balls, the 50-50 balls. That's Halbert with it and gets it inside. Napier puts it up and in. 51-35, 310 left here in third quarter. And good hustle by Napier. Napier goes into the Betsy Lane bench, but uh, he's okay. Betsy Lane will keep it. Into Robinson. Robinson looking over to coach, calling out the play he wants. Here's Robinson, top of the circle. Kid out in the corner. It's a tough matchup for Prestonsburg, but eventually they're going to have to get out of this zone and try to put some pressure on them because Betsy Lane can just, you know, man, you're up 16 points. Just be patient. Yeah. Oh, man. Again, oh. drops, and it's blocked oh, from man. behind. Oh. Albert with it. And Robinson looks over the kid and said, what's your weight's wrong, man? Give me that assist. And I just thought no good. Napier up and one. Pente. I think it's on uh, Kid. Let's see. Nope. On Pente. On Pente. He hits second. Team fifth. And Napier makes the free throw, completes the three point play. And Napier's it, got nine this quarter. It's back to a 13 point lead. Robson. Uh, Pass the tip. Parks is able to come up with it. Give it to Kid. Three pointer out of the corner. No good. Tanner Martin with the rebound. Robinson top of the circle. No good. Oh. And Martin runs another rebound down. Working the offensive glass. Here's Kid in the lane. Step back. Free throw jumper. No good. And this time Hobbit comes off with it. Being harassed in the backcourt. Salisbury in the corner, three, no good. That was by Stenham. Kid, and we've got a foul as Parsons shot the three-pointer, but it was before the shot, and a foul goes against Stenham. Minute 41 to go. That's just their first team foul. And it's picking up a half. little bit. Yes, it is. Five fouls on Betsy Lane. 
Yeah, Prestonsburg kind of wants the game sped up a little bit, but not too much. Uh, but if you're Betsy Lane, just, I mean, I would take a minute every possession. I mean, you're up 13 points. You don't have to score. Here's Parsons, three out of the corner, no good. Rebound Prestonsburg on the other end, Halbert. And Pente picks up his third. All this half, too. That's the last foul you've got to get. You're shooting the bonus if you're Prestonsburg from now on. And we're still in the third quarter. Yeah, minute 16. No, oh, gave him shots, too. I didn't think he I, did, I never did see him shoot it. No. Well. Shot up and good. Brian Hobart. He's three for three this quarter. Tackett comes in for Parsons. It's kind of hanging around. They had it down to 13 one time. Now it's 12, and it'll stay at 12 as Pente comes off the rebound. 51-39. Here's Tackett, and his shot rolls in. Gets a good roll. Nice bounce. And Byron Tackett off the bench with the bucket. 53-39. And Napier drives through the zone, puts it up and in. And then Stenham's called for the foul. He hits third. Caleb Lawson coming in for Prestonsburg. Lead at 12 for Betsy Lane. 53-41. Martin, kid, six foot in the lane, no good. Tackett and Lawson up with it, tied up, and it's going to go to Prestonsburg. And I think he, I think no, they Lawson called a foul. foul. I don't know about that. Yeah, and Coach Parks is a little upset. I think I'd be a little upset, too. Yes. Uh, that's, a, I mean, I don't know how that's not a jump ball. Well, we've seen some questionable calls, but I think no more than that one, maybe. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. For sure. Here's Robson with it. Down the lane, and he's fouled. And is that Stenham? Yep. That's his yes, fourth. His fourth. Yeah. And he's picked three here up in the last couple yeah. of minutes. Yeah. Thirty-four seconds left. Betsy Lane will have it out. And tack it with the three. No good. Rebound comes off to Salisbury. I think that's a little quick. Yeah. Send him on the other end. Three. No. Lawson tried to put it in. No good. Robinson with it. One on three. Holds up. Smart yeah. move. Yeah. That should have done that the last possession as well. We're at 13 seconds. Now at nine, got to go with it. Robinson. Pente, long three, no good. Tack it with the rebound and taken away. Stenham at the horn, no. And at the end of three, 53 41, Betsy Lane. We'll be back in fourth quarter action. This is Random Out Sports Network. Aftershock Preparedness presents the Gun and Preparedness Sportsman's Expo March 25th and 26th at the Knott County Sportsplex. If you're interested in guns, bushcraft, hunting, fishing, homesteading, and prepping, then this show is for you. Over 500 tables of vendors, demonstrations, and national speakers. There's something for every member of the family. Vendor spaces are still available. Contact GunPreparednessExpos.com or visit Aftershock Preparedness at the Red Lights in Allen, Kentucky. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals, soccer games, graduations, until she's a grown-up of her own. But what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. God bless me, Daddy. 
Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. Start the fourth quarter, 53 to 41. Betsy Lang hanging on. Prestonsburg trying to, you know, cut into that lead a little bit here. Well, we got they, the tensions are they cut are four, high. They cut four yeah. points off of it from the halftime lead. They hit at 16. Yes. They're down 12. They got the basketball to start this fourth quarter. Here's Lawson down the lane. Shot up, no good. And uh, Napier out of the nine one. It's huge. And that's going to go get Pente, and that's his fourth. Yeah, he's going to have to come out for a little while. I don't think you ride him. He's smart. He's a veteran. But. And Napier can cut it to single digits. Betsy Lane was up 21 at one time in the first, in the second quarter. Yep. And he misses oh. it. Robinson with into the front court for Betsy Lane. Here's Kid spin move in the lane, shot up, no good. He's fouled. Yeah, Keithley. Just his first. Andrew Kidd, we have the line shooting two. One for one. Get two. Makes the first. 7.33 left here in regulation, we'll call it. And the second one comes off. Napier with the rebound, 54-43. 11 point lead, Betsy Lane. There's Salisbury with the ball fake. Napier down the lane, shot up. Oh, no good, and fouls caught. That's four on tacket. Things about to get real interesting here. Yes. Betsy Lane with the short bench Very anyway. Very short bench. Once you get past uh, Tanner Martin and Isaiah uh, Allen and uh, Reese Music, uh, you're into uh, middle school. Yes. Tanner Martin coming in as well as Parsons back in. 54-44, 10 point lead, Betsy Lane. And again, Napier can't make that second free throw to get it into single digits. Yeah, hanging right That's a, a, a big mental uh, yeah. block, you know. You look up, you're down 10, or if it's single digits, makes he a makes big difference. Both of those, yeah, he's eight points. And uh, here's Robson has it taken away. Allen knocked it loose. Lawson with it to the bucket, spin move in the lane, shot oh. no good. Napier tips it. Lawson comes up with it. Salisbury for the three, no good. Oh. And Lawson on the foul. Lawson fouls Kid as he goes up against it. Well, that was a foul. Yes. I don't think his last one was a foul. That's 16 fouls, so the next one will put Betsy Lane into one on one. Here's Parsons, gets it over to Robinson. Cross corner over to Tackett. In the lane, put that up and in through contact. Oh, wow. Napier might have uh, yeah. avoided another one on that one. Yeah. Well, he's only got the three, so, I mean, he's good now. 56-44. Here's Allen on the drive to the baseline. He double teamed. And timeout from Prestonsburg. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. 627 left, Betsy Lane by 12. Good timeout by Coach Parsley there. I think he thought he was about to get himself in a bad situation. And you, you can't let this thing, you, you need to score, kind of keep this thing around 10. You don't want to get it back to 15, 16 points halfway through the fourth quarter. That's a tall right. pass. To, yeah. If you can keep it around this 10 to 12, you know, a, a short run can get you there. Well, you know, you, you get that big lead and then you cut it down and then they get it back and you cut it down again and then it gets to, uh, it to be a mental yeah. uh, block, you know. Well, we can't, can't get, get over that yeah, Can't get over the hump. Yeah. 
We've got 627 left, and it's going to be action packed for sure. Yeah, well, you got four fouls on Pente and uh, Byron Tackett both. And Tackett's in the game right now. Albert will step out of bounds for Prestonsburg. And it'll come in to Caden Allen. He takes it to the bucket and loses it. Parsons picks it up. Kid out in front and rolls it in. That's a big one. That's what you call the timeout to avoid. And you ended up getting it anyway. And it's back to 14. Napier with it. Here's Halbert. And yeah. called for the charge. Yeah, he was there. Yeah. Halbert's had a tough game tonight. And he was looking for the contact on the dribble, you could tell. But then when he looked up to get the shot, he's got one standing there waiting standing on there. That was Parsons, wasn't it? Yeah. That took the charge. Six minutes exactly. 14th turnover. And a 14-point lead for Betsy Lane. And Nurse Tackett and Napier might have picked up the fourth. Let's see who they got. Yep, Napier. Yep, that'd be his fourth. Allen knew it and was holding his hand up he, trying to get him to call it on him. But heads up play. He worked. He tried. That was his first foul of the second half, though. Yes. Byron Tackett for two makes the first. And the 10-point lead back to 15, and Tackett can make it 16. Yeah. That's what it stood at the half. Yeah, all the run, you know, the run you've made and the emotion you put into it. And he misses the second. Heathley with it. And here's Napier, and he loses it, was able to gain it back. Looking for help. Caden Allen, now he'll give it up. Oh, I hope it breaks left. wide open and puts it in. What a move. Everybody just left. Yes. <laughs> just backed off of it. Yeah. There's Tackett on the other end, and oh, man. he lost the basketball, and then Pressenberg loses it. If Tackett hadn't lost the basketball, he'd have fouled out on that one. Yes. I think you're right. Yeah. He was about to That's the only thing, the show. The only thing that saved him was he, he <laughs> lost the basketball. Parsons gets it into Robinson. Hadn't heard him from a while. Here's Kidd with a late foot jumper, no good. And Tanner Martin knocks it out of bounds. It's going to go to Prestonsburg. Yeah, Brady's only got two here in the second half. And had two in the third quarter, so... 59-46, five minutes left. There's Napier, a little floater in the lane, no good. Parsons comes off the oh, rebound, man. and oh. Oh. Napier fouled out, I think. Oh, man. Ooh, I, hate to, I hate to see a man go out on 90 feet from the basket. Yeah. But, I mean, he did have his hand in there. Can't put yourself in that situation to even. But they've been, they've been a lot more contact oh, than more. that that's yeah. not called. Yeah, if I'm Coach Parsley, obviously, or a Princeton fan, I'm not happy about that one. Carter Parsons at the line. It's a one on one. Uh, and Connor's done such a good job. And he misses. Picking up that fourth and fifth. Here's Hopper on the drive. Kicks it over the corner. Stenham, no good. Keekly up, no good, and Tackett goes up and claims the rebound. Four thirty-five left, and Robinson just going to yeah, stand that, out. This where you're not going to be able to set back in that zone. Now. Yeah, they're going to try to pull them out of the zone. And Robinson takes it all the way to baseline, then misses it. Keekly comes with it, one three, and he walks. Yeah. And Keithley will take the seat on the bench as Lawson comes in to replace him. And let's see if Pressburg stays in the zone. He's going to have to get in a half court trap or something. That's what they're in a 2 1 2 half court trap right now. 
There's Parsons over to Robson. Takes it down the lane. Shot up. No good. Rebound comes off. That's Hogan on the move. Kicks it over. Send him on the run. No good. Parsons comes off the rebound. It's tilted from behind. And Hobart comes up with it. Hobart dribbles. Kicks it over. Stenham, three in the air. Comes up short. Robinson comes off the rebound. Prestonburg running out of gas. They are. They. I mean, they've missed two layups. And now the three comes up short. And Stenham don't even hit the rim on the three, and you don't see that. And charge on Andrew Kidd. Or, yeah. That's just his second. That's eight team fouls for Betsy Lane, nine for Prestonsburg. Pente back in for Betsy Lane as Tanner Martin goes out. Tanner gives him some good minutes. Yes, absolutely. He's played great tonight. Here in the front court. Albert and it's taken away. Tack it down the lane to the bucket, and he's fouled for Stenham. That'll be it for Stenham. And that's his fourth. That should be five on Stenham. Oh, is it five? Okay. Yeah. Yep. So, Keithley will come back in as Prestonsburg's had two players to foul out. Metz and Lane has two players playing with four fouls. And they've had four since about seven minutes to go in the fourth quarter so and this is the double bonus now as that was 10 team fouls as Tackett makes the first Our old buddy Tack old buddy over on Pike Floyd Holler Ronnie Clark watching in 60 46 61 and we've got a timeout it's going to be a 30 second timeout Betsy Lane 317 left. Betsy Lane trying to hang on with the 15 point lead to secure that number one seed in the district tournament. Yeah. And, you know, Coach Newsom calling a timeout right here. This is kind of one of those things that if you can dig in and get a stop and then get you another bucket, it might, it might be too much. I mean, yeah. it may be too much right now, but uh, you can kind of seal the deal here with a couple stops and a couple baskets. Well, you just take the momentum away from yeah. uh, Prestonsburg if you do that. Prestonsburg's had their chances here uh, late have. in this quarter. Though, like you said, they missed a couple layups and then a couple free throws. Uh, Stenham, a wide open uh, uh, three pointer. Napier missed two free throws that could have put it into single digits. Yeah, yeah they've had their opportunity. So, you know, this uh, Betsy Lane hangs on. This will be the matchup, first round matchup in the district tournament. And, and this game. Uh, almost parallels the game the yeah. last Friday down at Prestonsburg. Oh, man. Yeah. Got him on the offensive foul. Yeah. That's a tough one. Yeah. That's... Got the steal and then yeah. uh, pushed off trying to get the shot off. Somehow you get a turnover out of it and then you, and then you give it get back. An offensive, offensive foul. That's three on Robinson. Oh, man. And here's Hope. Just can't hold it. Yeah. Out of bounds. It's going to go to Betsy Lane. Kind of shot herself in the foot here late. I mean, that's back-to-back uh, -back turnovers. And Parsons steps out of bounds for Betsy Lane. And there's Robinson with the lob. Just puts it up and in. Only his second bucket of the second half, but that gives his team the 17-point lead. And then Betsy Lane comes out in a 2-2-1. And Prestonburg throws it away, and that wasn't really uh, put on to create the turnover. That was just more or less take time off the clock. And they turned kind of it passing. over. Three straight turnovers. They've not even made it to half court. Here's Pente in the corner. Gets it back down on top of Robs. 245 left. Betsy Lane by 17. Kid. Drives the baseline and reverse and the call to walk. Yeah. If your kid there, great, great move. You might want to kick that one out over here. Yeah, and the then corner. you can just burn some more clock. You know what I mean? Do, do another 30, 45 seconds. But Prestonburg's got a score here. Yeah, Lawson with it. Gets it over to Hobart. Here's Allen, long three. And it's no good. 
Parsons with another rebound. Boy, he's come up yeah. big here late in the fourth quarter on the rebound end. There's Kidd has it knocked loose, but it's out of bounds. It's going to stay with Betsy Lane. Prestonburg with only five points here in the fourth quarter. And Betsy Lane just worth taking time off clock. Parsons back to Robson. Pinte. Here's Parsons. Down to Kidd. Puts it up and in. And that's what you do when you can spread that zone yeah. out. Yeah. Get that back door cut. Here's Salisbury. Gets it over to Lawson. 15 footer. No good. Good block out that time yeah. by Parsons. And Pente picks up the rebound off the floor. 19 point lead. Yeah, it just matter what the final margin is going to be now. We're at yeah. 140. Pressenberg laying back into 2 3 zone. Betsy Lane just dribbling out close to the timeline. Parsons. And Allen's going to be called for the foul. Just Allen's first. Carter Parsons at the line for two. 127 left. And the the seeding has been set yep. for the 58th district tournament as Parsons makes the first. It's going to be a rematch of this. A rematch of these two teams here at Lawrence County and it'll be Lawrence County and Floyd Central and ought to be two, uh, two dandy games. Dandy games. We'll I mean, be, you know, this is a 20 point game, but it don't seem to be. Yeah, it doesn't. I mean, I feel like I'm okay if I'm. Uh, there is Keithley with the three. You know, you call a full. And he's going to call a 30 if he's got it, but he ain't got one. It's going to be a full. 111 left, 6649, Betsy Lane, this Red Mountain Sports Network. Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro, or 14 Pro Max on an unlimited Appalachian Advantage plan. Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, Social Security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. This changes everything. Gearheart TV is available now. It's the digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by Gearheart Broadband. Sign up now at mygtv.com. Back here at Betsy Lane, a minute 11 to go. 17 point lead for Betsy Lane. Prestonburg gonna pick up in the 2-2-1. Just apply a little pressure. I don't think they're trying to and come back and win. But Robson not. gets intact, kid down the lane and it's blocked. Prestonburg comes up with it. Keithley on the other end, puts it up and in. Keithley on a 5-0 run himself. Yeah. He's had a good game. And it's at 15. Here's Parsons. Pente, 40 seconds left. Robson driving the baseline, and he's going to be fouled by Lawson. Lawson with four. And Brady Robinson will go to the line shoot two. 38 seconds, all that's left. Betsy Lane comes in averaging 70 points a game. They've got 66 right now. Robinson makes it, uh, misses the free throw. Yeah, Betsy Lane just about right on theirs. And makes the second. Pressingburg's about nine off of theirs. So 67 51. Lawson drives. Kicks it back out. Allen, high arcing three, county. Just not an, uh, too few yeah. uh, for Prestonsburg. 26 seconds left. There's a timeout. It's a full, but we'll stay here with it. Yep. 
And again, uh, let everyone know that we'll be at Shelby Valley Monday night. Paintsville and Shelby Valley boys. That game's at 730. Tuesday night, we'll be right back here at the Junior Newsom Arena as Betsy Lane will host Belfry. And that is also a boys game. And then we'll be back to Shelby Valley Friday night. It's a doubleheader. The girls, uh, I think, play Johnson Central, and then the uh, Shelby Valley boys will be playing Knott County Central, and that will be senior night. So we'll get those games in those three nights next week, and that'll do us for the regular season, and then it'll be wall-to-wall the -wall basketball yeah, as the real season. the real season starts. And just practicing with the horn, I think. <laughs> Make sure it still works. Yeah. Jeff is going to have to get his finger off that button. <laughs> Here he interrupts. And nearly stolen by Allen. It goes out of bounds. Betsy Lane will have it. 21 like said, seconds. Eerily similar to, I mean, it was a 20-point game almost all night. And it's all, you know, possibly come down to a, you know, 10, 12-point win here. Brady back to the line. And Keithley is going to be caught in foul. Robinson back for two. Split a pair the last time there. Makes this one 68 54. And misses the second. They've killed herself here in the fourth quarter from the free throw line. 68 54 down low in the corner. Lawson on the drive. Scoop shot up. No good. Oh, tough ball. And try to go after his rebound. Hit the floor and good sportsmanship that time for Kid as uh, he helps Halbert get Lawson off the floor. I think that might do it. Six seconds left. I think you're right. They just have to get it inbound, stand and hold it. They don't even have to get it across the half court line. And that's going to do it. 68 54. Betsy Lane. We'll sit at the station. Be back with some final stats and comments at Rent Mountain Sports Network. Gearheart Security Smart Home Holiday Bundles are here. Combine blazing fast broadband and home security to save some cash, plus a free security camera. We also offer home security takeovers, life sentry, camera only specials with financing available. Find out more at gearheartsecurity.com slash specials or call us at 1-800-264-1730. Stop by our new location in Harold to enter to win a free Yeti cooler. Aftershock Preparedness presents the Gun and Preparedness Sportsman's Expo March 25th and 26th at the Knott County Sportsplex. If you're interested in guns, bushcraft, hunting, fishing, homesteading, and prepping, then this show is for you. Over 500 tables of vendors, demonstrations, and national speakers. There's something for every member of the family. Vendor spaces are still available. Contact GunPreparednessExpos.com or visit Aftershock Preparedness at the Red Lights in Allen, Kentucky. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit eCare.Gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. We offer speeds up to one gig, so you can game, stream, surf, and shop on multiple devices without slowing down. Get started now at imctv.com or give us a call at 606-478-9406 for more info. You're on the move every day. You're mobile, and so is Community Trust Bank. Now you've got one-touch access to your accounts. No need to remember or update passwords. Make a deposit with a click, not a pen. No deposit slip and no line. 
and get that morning cup of joe without the hassle, without the wait. Community Trust Bank is dedicated to making your banking experience secure, fast, and easy. Don't wait. Go mobile with Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. We're back at Junior News Marina, and we have a final in the ninth second game. 68-54, Betsy Lane over Prestonsburg, and not been able to say this a whole lot this year, Justin, but the Betsy Lane sweep tonight, yeah, boys yeah. and girls. Boys and girls both. Yeah, that's only the fourth win for the girls. Yes. Uh, just huge win for the girls. Yeah, I mean, you can was. tell everybody felt that. That was an emotional win for them. And I had to hang on down yes, the, uh, hang on. the down toward the end of the game, you know, showed a little gumption. So yeah. that'll go a long way to bring that yeah. young team along. Yes, absolutely. Uh, for Prestonsburg, they were led in scoring. Connor Napier had 20 points, 15 points for Braxton Keekley, 10 for Kate Allen, 5 for Brian Halbert, 2 for Caleb Lawson, and 2 for Mason Stidham. They were 10 for 14 from the free throw line, had 25 rebounds, 5 of those offensive, and a big number, 18 turnovers. So, I mean, that's uh, that's not a good recipe to, no. to win the game. Um, for Betsy Lane, uh, just what you'd expect, Brady Robinson with 21, 20 for Andrew Kidd, 11 for Byron Tackett, three apiece for Carter Parsons and Cameron Pente, two for Isaiah Allen, and six for Tanner Martin. They had 24 rebounds and only nine turnovers. Um, the only thing that would stick out to me for Betsy Lane that they might want to work on, they were only seven for 13 from the free throw line there in the fourth quarter and kind of left the door open a little bit. Yes. Prestonsburg didn't capitalize on it, but there was just some opportunities there that you got to, you know, it's a week away from tournament time. You got to shore that up. You so, got, but, you got, uh, you can't own a close game. that will come back to bite you. A win's a win's a win. And I'm sure coach Newsom's tickled to death to get that one seat. So yes, then uh, just as you said, the one seat, just getting ready to mention that. If you've uh, enjoyed watching these two teams play last Friday night yeah. and tonight, they'll match up again. <laughs> Monday, uh, Monday the twentieth, they'll get to uh, get back out on the hardwood and try it again in the district tournament down at Lawrence County. We don't have the times or the dates or anything for that yet, but we'll be there to cover it. So for Alex back. To For Alex back to the station, for Wayne Figured on camera, my partner Justin Holbrook, this is Larry Cecil saying so long. We'll see you Monday night from Chevy Valley. This is your Mountain Sports Network.